I eat food every day, but I usually don't know where it comes from or how it's made. My ancestors were farmers, but I can hardly plant anything. Whether it be from the supermarket or a restaurant, I generally have no clue about the journey my food takes from the soil to my stomach. Was it grown here in Pennsylvania or somewhere in Peru? How many gallons of gas did it take to get to me? Have fish or bacteria genes been spliced into the seeds? And has it been zapped with x-rays, e-beams, or nuclear irradiation so it can stay fresh longer? And what about the people? Did the farmers make a fair wage? What chemicals did they spray? Is it really safe to eat? Too many questions that are too hard to answer every time I pick up a fork. How did I get so disconnected from my food? When I became a father, the questions multiplied. Last year, my family decided to join a nearby community-supported farm owned by the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia that sits on a plot of land adjacent to the mother house. The farm is about 10 minutes from our home in Media, Delaware County, just outside of Philadelphia. Our neighbors, Amy Johnson and Chris McNichol, are the farmers. Before the season started, we bought a share in Red Hill Farm and then received a portion of the weekly harvest. All members share in the risks of drought and disease, but also in the bounty. Part of me wanted to eat better tasting, healthier food. Mostly, I just wanted to be around the plants as they grew, bearing witness to the miracle of life. We pick up our food on Fridays 